I'm ready for school. What's this? I'm ready for school. <gasps> what just happened? What about this one? <gasps> when did I get here? Chill, we've been here an hour. An hour? I never even left my house. You're acting strange. And that is why the war started. Dude, did she just? Bro, no way. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> you have zero manners. No, no, it was the chair. It was the chair. I promise you it was the chair. No way, that wasn't a chair. We all heard it. Get me out of here. And that is why- Miss, I need to use the bathroom. Hey. <gasps> Babe! I'm here to break up with you. Also, I've been cheating on you throughout the entire relationship. I'm really sorry, but I'm not actually. Oh, you are not getting away with this. Hey. Babe! I'm, I'm breaking up with you, and I've been cheating on you throughout this entire relationship. How could you do that? How could you cheat on me? Oh, just like how you cheated on me this whole relationship? I, uh, how did you know this? I'm an intellectual. You will never believe what I can do. I can go back and forth in time. Have you lost your mind? No, I'll show you. I want to take my best friend forward in time. Bestie, did it work? Did what work? Daniel. Bestie, look, I don't want to explain this whole thing again, but I can go back and forth into time. Have you lost uh, your... Uh, uh, hold my hand. I want to try something. Huh, how did I get here? Shh, we're in class. You really can time travel. I told you. Hey, I need you to help me with something. I need you to help me with something. What, do you need to rewrite a test or something? No, it's way more serious than that. I'll tell you after class. Okay. 10 years ago, my family was in a car accident driving my sister to school. I was homesick that day. None of them survived. I need to go back and warn them not to get in that car. I don't know, changing the past that drastically has got to have some kind of consequences. No, you don't understand. The last thing I said to them was I hate them and I wish they were never my family. I can't live with this guilt. I have to fix this. Okay. I'll help you. Thank you. Take my hand. What is taking her so long? It worked. I convinced them all to stay home today. That's great. Let's go back. Wait, I forgot my phone. What's going on? Wait, come back. No, I left her in the past. Bestie, there you are. I was so worried. Who are you? Finally 18, what gift do I get? A mystery box? Oof, well, might as well open it. No, don't. Why? I heard a story of one person who had a mystery box and they stopped breathing right as they opened it. I should wait to open it then. Good idea, it could be very dangerous. What did you get for your gift? I got this mystery box. Open it. I heard of someone who got a mystery box and got a million dollars. Don't open it. I heard someone got gifted a mystery box and lost a finger. Open it. Don't. Open it. No. I'm scared. I'm not gonna open it. Hey, I want to trade my gift with you for that mystery box. What's your gift? A mansion. It's way better than a box. So give me the box. Trade it now. No, we can't trade gifts. It's illegal. I have to know what's in this box. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's empty. Have you opened your box yet? No, I haven't opened it yet. I don't know what's inside. Open it. I need that box. Give it. Just open it. I'll give you my mansion. Back. Stay back, you fiends. Open it. No, I don't think there's any need to open it. All right, class, it's time for the test. We'll be starting right now. Oh, shoot. I forgot my pen. Oh, my God. What is this box? <gasps> you lied to me. You did open the box. Shh. My crush is coming. Oh, hey box, I could really use some perfume. Oh gosh. Perfect. This box could be very beneficial to me. To us. No. Hey box, I could really use a million dollars right now. Oh, no, no, no. Buzz cut is not the move. I'm off to school. What? No, I'm not choosing either of these. Choose. Okay. If I have to pay. So I went and walked away, way, way. Oh, mama, I'm in love with the criminal. With that other burden 
The choices I get are so crazy. I have to choose if he writes his test or skips. Yeah, those choices are very crazy. What? Are you insane? I'm not choosing. What's wrong? Choose. It's not even a choice. Choose. No. What's going on? Oh, please don't make me choose. Choose. Hey, sorry I'm late. Why hasn't class started yet? The teacher is on some kind of super serious phone call. Thanks for letting me know. I'll make sure everyone's safe. Goodbye. Class, there has been multiple zombie sightings. No one is going home tonight. That's impossible. What? No way. I want to go home. Don't you dare come here. How can you read at a time like this? I'm just trying to clear my head, that's all. The zombies are approaching the building. Stay calm, everyone. How can I be calm at a time like this? Just stay away from us. Oh no. The zombies. They're coming in the building. Get me out of here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? The zombies are in the building. Don't panic. I'm panicking. You better hurry up. Look out the window. Some random guy is coming to the building. The bat has to be the better move. Whoa, how did you fight off all those zombies? You're so cool. Oh, you're not flirting with my best. I mean, it wasn't a big deal. How can we repay you? How can you repay him? He caused it! Wait, how do you? Come, you and I need to talk. How do you know that I was the one who caused this? You know the random choices we get to make for our soulmate? So you chose the apocalypse? I didn't get to choose. It said either it's an apocalypse or an apocalypse. And then when I tried not to pick, it got mad at me. That is so ridiculous. Are you really thinking of kissing me right now? What? So spill it. How did you start the apocalypse? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just I'm nervous, that's all. Don't worry. We're in this together, no matter what. Kelly? Please come to the stage to receive your number. That's you. Here I go. Uncover your number, please. Ten. Yes, that's my bestie. Brianna, please come to the stage to receive your number. Please uncover your number. Zero. She's useless. What a loser. Get out of here. Wow, they're pretty brutal out there, aren't they, Kelly? Kelly. Just go, I can't talk to you. Leave before someone sees us. Welcome, our class will now be divided based on our numbers. Please sit with your fellow numbers. Hello, my fellow zeros. How does it feel to be the bottom of the food chain? I don't belong here. You don't belong here? What, you think you're better than us? Yeah, I do actually. And what makes you say that? Well, I'm an athlete, head cheerleader, lead of the school musical, and I'm popular. You're so popular. Go say hi to your number 10 friends over there. I will. Hey guys! Shut up, Zero. Come with me. I want to show you something. Okay. Here's a wall of all the fellow Zeros that went to our school. Take a close look. Why are they all so young? All of the other numbers, it shows them through all their stages of life. 99% of Zeros don't make it past 25. They can only handle being outcasted and having no future or purpose for so long. You mean they... Precisely. Mom, I'm home. I had the worst day. Get out of my house immediately. So, how many do you have? One. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm sure it'll be better next year. Hey, girl, any luck this year? It's okay. I'll be here for you. Come on, let's get to class. Oh, look, it's the loser that never talks. Any words this year? I'll take that as a no. Oh, shut up, Olivia. Excuse me? Oh, look, the mute is all alone. No one to stand up for her this time. What's that? Did you want to say something? I thought so. Oh, honey, you're home. Did you have a good day at school? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, no, sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean...
I can finally speak. Morning, honey. Good morning, mom. You're talking. I'll tell you all about it later. I'm going to school. Guess what? Wait, how are you talking? The system offered me to steal Olivia's words. Giselle, that's a criminal offense. Wait, what? Yeah, they can lock you up for it. I had no idea. I'm gonna get into so much trouble. How does she even have infinite words? Hey, is it possible for somebody to have infinite words? Infinite words? No way. Well, Olivia did. Now I have them. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Just relax, you don't know that. Go in there and act like you know nothing. I'll try. You can do this. To see me, Mr. Fitz? Yes, hi. I presume you know about Olivia's words? Yeah, I may have heard about it. Do you have any idea who might have stolen them? No, I have no idea. If you're lying to me, you're going to be in big trouble. I promise, I don't know anything. Okay then, be sure to let me know if you do. I will. What am I going to do though? I'm going to find out I'm lying and... Giselle? Olivia? I should have known it was you. No, no, this is all a big misunderstanding. Save it. You're going to be locked up for a long time. Wait. If I have your words, how are you talking? That doesn't concern you now, does it? The only important thing here is I found out who stole them. No, please, I can explain. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm here regarding Olivia's words. We're going to sort this out. Okay. Where are we? Leave the questions to me. Did you or did you not steal Olivia's words? Well, yes I did, but it's not my fault. Stop lying. She did steal them. You better start telling the truth. How did you take them? The system offered me to steal them. That's impossible. I promise you I'm telling the truth. How many words did you steal? It says she had infinite. Well, that's impossible. Unless she's been stealing yours. Wait. So she's been stealing my words all along? Of course I have. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for you. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry about the confusion, miss. It's okay. At least she's locked up now. We have taken away all of her words and given them back to you. Thank you. This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I like to play... Oh, no. Are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And till Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wanted me to... Yes, and the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. <gasps> How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. Her breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh, boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. 
Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know where you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait, she made this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid? Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm going to get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep, she told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you up to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. <sighs> Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar, she's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her. But what better time to do that than her wedding day? Ugh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's going to be okay. Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me. Well, do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, would it happen to be on this phone? How did you... Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now, why don't you just fetch? No! Oh, thank goodness it's not broken. No. She locked me in here? Oh, no. It looks like they're already reading their vow. I have to pick this lock. I saw this used in a movie once, so uh, let's hope it works. Does anyone have any objections to this marriage? I do. No. Anne, what? Ingrid told me you were sick. Yeah, well, that's not the only thing she's lied to you about. She's also not even pregnant. What? Darling, don't listen to her. She obviously doesn't want us to get married. Really? Then what do you call this little recording of yourself? If you do anything to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. Why would you talk to Anne like that? Darling, I can explain. I... Oops, looks like Ingrid's out of talking time. Good, because I don't want to be interrupted when I say this. Ingrid, you and I are over. Oh! I'm so sorry, Anne. I had no idea Ingrid did all those things to you. It's okay. No, this is my fault. I should have listened more to you. I promise you, from here on out, things will be different. You are such a loser. Why do you even exist? Yeah, get out of this school, loser. Is everything okay? You look upset. Yeah, it's just my soulmate's getting bullied. You failed your math test again? 
You are a disgrace to this family. Go to your room. I don't even want to see your face. Oh, he is not having a good day today. Are you ready to go yet? Hey, I'm so sorry, but I've been cheating on you this whole relationship with your best friend, and I'm leaving you for him. Yikes, that one's gotta hurt. And then I was like... I have your coffee, ladies. Whoa, whoa. My new shoes. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I am too, idiot. That was a little harsh. What am I gonna do? My shoes are ruined. You spilled coffee on a customer's shoe? That's it. I'm not giving you any more chances. You're fired. Hey, I just wanted to let you know the coffee bean spilled on my shoes was no big deal. Don't worry about it. I already fired him. No, he doesn't need to be fired. It's too late. It's already done. Wait, don't go. Go away. It's your fault I got fired. My fault? It's all my fault you spilled coffee all over me. Just leave me alone. Fine. Such a jerk. I can't believe you lost your job. Get out of this house. I never want to see you here again. What? His family's kicking him out. Do you even know where he lives? He lives nearby this coffee shop. I'm sure of it. He was walking home from here when he got fired. There he is. I heard you got kicked out. Don't worry. You can stay with me. I don't even know you. And how do you know that? I can hear what you hear. How is that even possible? I'm your soulmate. You found your soulmate? I'm so jealous. Oh my gosh, Jonathan, I've missed you so much. Mwah. Who is she? Who? He's talking to a girl. And she's British. You should just ask him about her. No, I need to see how this plays out. Jonathan, do you think after we're finished class, we could go get some lunch together? They're going on a date. He's cheating on me. Jonathan, you look so handsome in that new coat. Stop flirting with my man. You really just need to go and talk to him about this. Yeah, you're right. They are so done for. That's not what I meant. Get away from my man. Brianna, it's so nice to meet you. Quit the chit chat. I heard you flirting with my soulmate. Brianna, that's my cousin. She's visiting from England. Oh, I got a choice. Crush like you back or better choice? No, you know what? Maybe we're just not meant to be together. Get into Harvard? That's the school of my dreams. This better give me something great. A billion dollars? You know what? No, I have to choose a better option. Maybe I'll get two billion dollars. Magic beans? Whoa, they must be super magical if they're better than a billion dollars. I have to try it. Did you make a choice yet? Yeah, I chose magic beans, but I'm not sure when I'll get them. Well, I'm sure they'll show up at some point. Yeah. <laughs> My beans! Right, let's try one. Purple. Oh my gosh. Who are you? I'm a genie. I can grant you three wishes. Whoa. So these beans give me a genie? Not exactly. Each different color is associated with a different supernatural being which you can use. You chose me, which is a genie. Whoa! Do you know your first wish? No, I need time to think. I don't want to waste any of my wishes. I'm parched. I need a drink. Here you go. Thanks! No, that wasn't a wish! Have you decided your next wish? No, I don't know yet. Just give me some time! That wasn't a wish! What is your last wish? Last wish? I haven't even gotten one wish. You know what? I wish for more wishes. I can't do that. That's against the law. Well, I haven't decided yet. So just leave me alone. And she's gone. Ooh, mommy's makeup. No! You can't ever put anything on your face. Anything that touched your face becomes permanent. Now that blush will be on you forever. What? Mom really wasn't lying. It's never gonna come off. Hey, Brianna, you got some lipstick on your cheek. Here, use one of my makeup wipes. No, it won't come off. Anything that touches my face is permanent. What? <laughs> Brianna, you're so funny. Wanna come over to my slumber party tonight? Sure, I'd love to. What should we do now? How about a pillow fight? <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Here, you need to look at yourself. You look so silly. Do you know what you guys just did? Ooh, mommy's makeup. No! 
You can't ever put anything on your face. Anything that touched your face becomes permanent. Now that blush will be on you forever. What? Mom really wasn't lying. It's never gonna come off. Hey, Brianna, you got some lipstick on your cheek. Here, use one of my makeup wipes. No, it won't come off. Anything that touches my face is permanent. What? <laughs> Brianna, you're so funny. Wanna come over to my slumber party tonight? Sure, I'd love to. What should we do now? How about a pillow fight? <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Here, you need to look at yourself. You look so silly. Do you know what you guys just did? I like your shirt. Thank you. It's pink, my favorite color. It is? I wouldn't know. I can't see color. Why not? Mommy, why can't I see the color pink? Honey, it's time we have a talk. You'll only be able to see color when you meet your soulmate. That means it will be a really, really long time until I can see the color pink. Hey, Brianna, what color is this pen? I don't know. <laughs> she can't see color until she meets her soulmate. Hey, babe, don't let them get to you. Hey, babe, are you still fine being with me, even though you're not my soulmate? Come on, you know I don't care about that. Let's go to the movies after school. Yo, bro. Hey, Jason. Brianna, you have to meet my buddy, Jason. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Gummy, gummy. Who was the girl that left the house this morning? How do you know her? Come on, she was just a friend. It's not like that. What's my name? Come on, baby. Don't do this. If you didn't cheat, then tell me my name. Mommy, why doesn't Daddy know your name? Because, sweetie, Daddy cheated on me. When you cheat on someone, you forget the name of the person you cheated on. Hey, baby. Brianna, don't worry. I could never forget your name. I know. I'm just paranoid because my dad cheated on my mom back when I was seven. I love you. I would never cheat on you. Jason's having a party after school. Want to come? Sure. Hey, you made it. Here, have a drink. Thank you. <laughs> Blake, you're so funny and so cute. Well, you know, I... Blake? Uh, uh, b b baby, hi. Why don't you know my name? Morning, Daddy. I made you lunch, just how you like it, PB&J. Thank you. Honey, do you need a lunch? No, I got one. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning, Dad. It's my first day of high school. I'm so nervous. How about a homemade PB&J sandwich? Will that help? Of course it will help. Morning, Dad. You know what I'm really craving for lunch today? How about a PB&J? How did you know? Must have been a good guess. Dad? Dad? I'm off to college. I could really use one of your PB&Js. Honey, it's time to go. Are you ready? Where's Dad? He makes me PB&Js every single morning. Dad, are you feeling okay? Yeah, why? Your father's been dead for over 10 years. Now, remember, sweetheart, don't lose that oxygen can. Yes, I know, Mom. And I'm setting your oxygen amount on private. But why? Because other kids will probably get jealous. Now, take a sip before you go. Hey, where did you get that special canister? Oh, um, my mom got it for me. How nice. But girly, why is your oxygen on private? Um, can you show me how much you have? I'm not allowed to. What? Why not? I have to go. Hey! <laughs> Angela, catch. Give it back. Hmm, no, I don't think we will. Guys, please, I need that. Then make your oxygen public right now. Okay. Why do you have so much? It's because I have asthma. Yeah, right. You do not need all this oxygen. No! Here, have fun with your asthma. <laughs> <laughs> no, this can't be happening. Would you like to take Angela's oxygen? She only has 15 sips of oxygen? No wonder she was jealous of me. Oh no. <laughs> Honey? We have a problem. No, no. Honey, wake up, please. Take my oxygen. Hang in there. I'm going to use a different method. Please wake up. 
You feeling better? Yeah, but... Hey, wait, what happened to all of your oxygen? I transferred it to you, honey. You need it more than me. I'll... <laughs> I'll be okay. No. None of this would have happened if it weren't for Angela. Angela, stop it! Aw, you gonna cry. Hey, Angela. Whoa, thanks for knocking her out. Yeah, no problem. Now I gotta give you something. Here. That canister has infinite oxygen. So you'll never run out of air, because I really appreciate you helping me out. Thank you so much. Hey, Mr. Toad, sorry I'm late. Better be the last time, Red. Hey, Goldilocks. Hey. Psst, Jill, where's Jack? Who? Oh, Jack and the Beanstalk? No, your brother Jack. Yeah, like Jack and Jill went up the hill? Huh? That's not my story. You don't remember your own brother? Goldie, Red, no talking. That was weird, even for Jill. Right? How does she not remember her own brother? Hey, Humpty Dumpty, have you seen Jack? Jack and the Beanstalk? No, like Jack and Jill. He's your best friend. Huh? I'm not friends with anyone named Jack. That's really weird how no one else remembers Jack. Hey, is that Bo Peep? I've never seen her without her sheep. Hey, Bo Peep, where are your sheep? <laughs> sheep? You guys are silly. I don't have any sheep. I'm starting to think it's not just Jack who went missing. Mr. Toad's storybook characters are missing, and no one seems to remember them but us. Like who? Like Bo Peep and Jack. And Hansel doesn't even remember his sister Gretel. Who's Gretel? It's no use, Goldilocks. We're the only ones that remember. Meet me at the Storybrook Library. We need to investigate. Goldie, look at this. Just as I thought, someone's blacking out the storybook characters. And they're completely disappearing from their stories. This has one person written all over it. Cruella. Cruella, we know you're here. Well, well, it looks like we have visitors. <sighs> Down boy, can I get you two anything? How about a nice warm fur coat? I'm vegan. Even after the wolf incident? Alright. Well then what do you two want? To know why you're making storybook characters disappear. <laughs> it's not funny, you're erasing their stories. I would never. How dare you accuse me of such a thing? And you're not supposed to take books from the library. Get the hell out of here. Do you believe her? No, not for a second. Maybe your granny can help us get the book back. I don't have a grandma. No, Red, not you two. Come with me, we're fixing this right now. You two are back. Yes, we brought you some porridge to apologize to. I made sure the bears made it just right. Mm. Are those ink stains on your fingers? All right, you caught me, but there's nothing you can do. Soon, darlings, only the villain characters will remain. <laughs> you underestimated the girls who fought wild animals and won. What? What was in this porridge? There. All the ink has been erased. Red? Granny. Oh, Red, is it really you? Hey, look, it's Jack. And little Bo Peep and her sheep. All the storybook characters are reappearing. We did it! I think we should take this book to the Blue Fairy so she can put a protection spell on it so this will never happen again. Good idea. Speech? What's this? It's a new thing started by the government. You're given a certain amount of words a day and you must use all of them, or else. Well, I only have 18 words today. That shouldn't be hard to use. Brianna, how many words do you need to use today? 18. Wow, you're so lucky. I got 5,000 words I have to use today, so I have to talk super fast and I have to use lots and lots of words. Talk, 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 talk. I can't stop talking, can't stop talking. The day's almost done. Did you use all your words? Yes. These are my last words, too. Oh, no, 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 no. Honey, what's wrong? I got 100,000 words to use today. How can I use all those words? You'll have to try your best. I don't understand. I only had 55 words, now I have so many. What's wrong with your voice? I lost my voice talking so much yesterday. I won't be able to use all my words. No, no, you can do it. You can. I can hardly talk. I want to switch my words back. Hello? The government? Are you there? God? Bestie, keep on trying to talk. The day's not over yet. I, I can't. Bestie, I'm so sorry. I love you. It's okay. It's not your fault. I heard from your best friend's mom she passed away. She couldn't use all her words. Are you okay? Yeah. I'll be okay. Ooh. 
Your soulmate heart magnet came in. Yay! This isn't a heart. It will only make a heart with your soulmate. The magnetic force will pull you towards him, helping you find your soulmate. Wow. All right, kids, time to finger paint. Yay! My heart necklace is making a noise. It's the magnetic force pulling you towards your soulmate. Your soulmate must have been somewhere close. Too bad there was a wall in the way. What's going on? My soulmate must be near. Take me to him! Hey Bree, where are you off to? Can I come with? My necklace is taking me to my soulmate. <laughs> Why is it pulling me to the floor? Girl, are you okay? I found the other half of my necklace. But I didn't find him. Oh no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. I found the other half of my necklace. But I didn't find him. Oh no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. We have to find out who it is. I need to make an announcement. No, you will not. Attention everyone, there has been a missing soulmate heart magnet found in the hallway. If anyone is missing their soulmate magnet, come to the office immediately. Give that back to me. You are in big trouble. I heard you guys found a soulmate magnet. I lost mine. Really? You must be my soulmate then. Yeah, I lost it back when I was six years old. Six? What? My soulmate would have lost his magnet in high school, not when he was six. No one else has came forward for a missing magnet. Maybe I'll never find my soulmate. I hear a soulmate magnet was found. I lost mine last time I was here visiting the school. <gasps> the prince is your soulmate! You're my soulmate? A million dollars or a hair clip? Come on. Whoops, sorry. Phoebe, do you know what you just made me do? I didn't mean to. Mom says it's your turn to take out the trash. No, she didn't. She said it was your turn five minutes ago. Hey, wait. How do you know that? You weren't there. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just do, okay? I don't think I can make it to your party. What? Why not? You always come to my parties. Sorry, but my mom's not letting me go. You sure that's the real reason why? Uh, yeah. Anyways, I gotta get to calculus. Hey, I think this clip is telling you the truth about people. You ready for a date, babe? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't think I'm gonna make it. What? Why? Something came up at work and it's urgent. Babe, you work at a computer factory. How urgent can it be? I'll explain later. Don't worry. I gotta go. So all this time he's been lying to me about his job. I have to follow him. Did you get the codes? Yes, sir. I have them on my phone. And you're sure you weren't followed? Not that I know of. Excellent. Because I have another job for you. Hey, who the hell are you? Um, I'm... That's it. Get over here. <sighs> hey, boss. Look who I found spying on us. No, I, I wasn't spying on you guys, I swear. Who do you work for? Who sends you? No, nobody. Hey, stop. She's with me. You know this girl? Yeah, I do. She's... She's my girlfriend. Jack, I am so sorry that I followed you. I don't have any wires on me or- Quiet. I told you. No attachments, Jack. She was just a cover, sir. Good. Then you shouldn't have any problem with me getting rid of her. Sorry, sweetheart. But I can't have you running away and crying to the cops. You're not gonna shoot me. Why is that? Because you can't. You have no idea what I'm capable of. What? It's jammed. Okay, both of you drop your weapons now. Really, Jack? You're gonna turn against me, huh? Sorry, sir. Can't let you kill her. Now slide those weapons over to me. All right, let's go. You're gonna regret this. So when were you gonna tell me that you're a criminal? How did you know his gun was jammed? No, I asked you first. Answer me. Listen, there's no time to explain. We have to change our appearance. They're gonna come looking for us soon. Take this cash, you're gonna run to that store quick and go buy us new clothes. Okay, and what are you gonna do? I'm gonna stay here and keep an eye out for anyone looking suspicious. Okay, fine. I really like your hair clip. Thank you. Are you here all by yourself? What happened? There was a woman in there who was acting really suspicious. I think they're on to us. We, we need to get out of here now. Okay, get in. Jack, this is in our car. I know. Now let's go. I still can't believe you hotwired someone's car. I had to. My boss knows my license plate. He could attract us. I just hope this hair clip still works if I'm not wearing it in my hair. Huh? Look, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but this hair clip is magic. It tells me the truth about people. 
It's how I knew your boss's gun was jammed, and it's why I followed you to work. You're joking, right? No, and honestly, it's really been coming in handy, so what's wrong? My boss. He's here. Well, what do we do? He's headed right towards us. Follow me. I think we lost him. Yeah, for now. Jack, I can't keep doing this, okay? We've been on the run all night. I'm tired. I think I know a place where we can crash for the night. Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry for all this. You broke my trust, Jack. I know, and I'm going to do everything I can to gain it back. I promise I'll fix this. Now get some sleep. We'll talk more about this magic hair clip in the morning. Okay. Jack. Looking for Jack. You really thought you could get away from us? Where is he? He won't be able to save you this time. Get over there. I want to make a deal with you. You come work for me, and in return, I'll let Jack go free. I don't think I can trust you guys. It's not really your choice. Unless you want to see your boyfriend dead. You're not going to kill Jack because you're his parents. What? How did you... How does she know that? I don't know. She... She must be a spy. Yeah, I kind of realize that now. Who are you talking to? She's obviously talking to someone on comms. No, I'm not talking to anyone, I swear. I bet her hair clip is a camera. No. No, wait. Give that back. Quiet. There's no camera or microphone, but it is a cute hair clip. No. What the... This thing just spoke to me. What'd it say? It said she's feeling worried. How could the hair clip know that she's nervous? You know, I've heard about things like this. I think this hair clip might be magic. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. No, it all makes sense now. That's how she knew my gun was jammed. And how she knew to avoid me at the store. Make this thing tell us the code to the... It doesn't work like that. Sure it does. You're just holding out on us. You'll make this clip tell us everything we want to know. Or else we're gonna... Hey! That's enough! Did you just... No, don't worry. They were just trank darts. Now let's get you free. I believe this belongs to you. Thanks. So, um, what now? You have to turn my family and I in. What? Jack, I'm not gonna turn you in. I... It's okay. I'm sure your parents have reported you missing by now. It was gonna happen to me eventually, so just make the call. I'm going to find a way to bail you out, okay? I can't believe I'm using my birthday money to bail your boyfriend out of jail. Hey, you owe me big time, remember? Yeah, yeah. Jack! Brooke, how did you bail me out? My sister gave me her birthday money. Wait, where's your hair clip? Well, that was the deal. I gave her my hair clip and she gave me her money. You did that for me? Brooke, I can't thank you enough. Well, hey, I don't need to use it with you because I know you'll always be truthful with me. I promise you, I will. Hold my drink. Okay. I gotta use the bathroom. Thanks for holding this. Of course. This is good, babe. Mm, I thought you might like it. What's it called? It's called, uh, Taken by Surprise. Why is it called that? That's why... Just one more kill and you're rid of me. You're gonna miss me, aren't you? You wish. Well, tomorrow's assignment is no joke. Go get some sleep. You're gonna need it. He's actually kind of cute. Damn it, stop it. No attachments. This is for your freedom. So you're telling me that this guy's a billionaire? Yes, and he's got two bodyguards. So you gotta work your charm and get him alone. Then, you're gonna give him some of this. It looks like water, but if he drinks it, BAM! He's dead. Think you can handle it? If it means I never have to see your face again, then yes. Hey. Hey. What's your name? My name is... <clears throat> uh... Are you always this articulate? <laughs> uh, Brett, sorry. My name's Brett. And that's why I hate snakes. <laughs> so, are those big strong men over there your bodyguards? Yeah, I have them for my protection. Oh. Is, uh, is something wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just, I wish we could go somewhere a little more alone. This better? Yes, but uh, do you think you could get me some water? Yeah. One sec. 
Cheers to uh, one of the most beautiful girls I, I think I've ever met. Wait. To uh, one of the most beautiful girls I, I think I've ever met. Wait. What? Your drink. It, it has a bug in it. No, don't. And that ruined my carpet. You'll, you'll thank me later. It's all right. I've been meaning to redo this place, anyways. So you've been single for a while now. Yeah. Huh. You know, for me, it's always been kind of hard to stay alone. Sometimes it's better to be alone. No one can hurt you. Hey, listen, I, I get why you feel like that. But I want you to know, I'm not that type of guy. We should stop this before I... So you're telling me he's not dead? I am done working for you. No, no, sweetheart. We had a deal. You remember the obedience necklace, right? <laughs> Don't make me use it. So tomorrow, no security, just you and me. That sounds great. I'll... I'll see you then. Good job. And tomorrow, you get that kill count up to 50. Hey. Hi. Remember, I'm watching you. You okay? Yeah, uh, do you think you could just get me some water? Yeah, of course. Okay, when he comes back, you know what to do. Got your... Natasha, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't do this. I don't have a choice. You have five seconds to take the shot. I don't know who's making you do this, but you always have a choice. Do it! Three, two, one. No! Run! Ugh. Guess I'll have to do it myself. Say goodbye to your freedom and your little boyfriend. Wait! How could you? You wanted 50 kills? Ugh. Well, you got it. Security! Let's see those hands! If they need to arrest me, I understand. Actually, I work for the CIA, and if you're willing to come work with us, we'll drop all the charges. Does that sound like a deal? Yes, I would like that. Thank you, Brett. You saved my life. I'll never forget. You should really be more careful. No, wait, I think you might be my... soulmate. He drives a Ferrari with no license plates? Maybe he's not as innocent as I thought. <sighs> Natalia, are you okay? What's wrong? No, nothing. I'm good. Really? You're gonna lie to me? Okay, guess I'll leave you alone. Fine, but you have to swear not to tell the boss. So your soulmate saved your life, and now you've gone soft and don't want to kill him. That's true, except for the going soft part. Well, now the boss is going to kill you. I know, this is why we can't tell him. You promised, remember? I know. I'm not the one that has the briefing with him tonight, though. <sighs> You eliminated him? Yes, sir, I did. That's a good girl. Did anyone see you? No, no one saw me. Very good. Very good. Actually, I should be going now, so... Get back here. It's time to teach you a lesson about lying. It's time to teach you a lesson about lying. Oh, no, Natalia. Can I stay at your place tonight? I, I don't think I can make it back home. I can't believe he didn't kill you. Yeah, well, right now I'm kind of wishing that he did. He said I have one more chance to finish the job. I don't even know who he knew I was lying. Actually, I think I do. Because you told him? Oh. That is for thinking I would ever do that. Come on. Okay, then how did he know? I think your soulmate is the boss's son. What? You're sure you saw him in the boss's driveway? Yep, I took a picture of his car. This is him, right? Yeah, damn it, that's him. I don't understand this. If he's his son, then why does he want me to kill him? I don't think they get along very well. Well, the boss gave me 24 hours to get rid of him, and if I don't, I'm dead. You ready? Yeah. I already killed my soulmate. Don't worry, it's not that bad. Natalia, do you see any sign of him? No, not yet. Wait, scratch that, I think I see him. But he's too far. I need to get closer. Freeze. Hey, easy now. My dad put you up to this, didn't he? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't have a choice. Natalia, cook the shark. You know, you have really pretty eyes. Flattery isn't going to work on me. Well, if you're going to kill me, then do it. But you're wrong about not having a choice. What are you talking about? Listen, I'm willing to help you eliminate my father. This is your call. Do you trust this guy or not? You know what? Yeah. I do. Is it done? Yes, sir. Good. Now where's the body? It's in the trunk. Show it to me. I want to see it. There you go. See for yourself. There's nothing here. Surprise. 
Hey, Dad. I can't believe you were going to have me kill your own son. This is a setup? Oh, Natalia. And to think you were my favorite. Have you forgotten about the chips in the back of your heads? So what? They're just trackers. No, Gretchen. They're a little more than that. If I die, so do you too. Fine. Then so be it. Because a life working for you isn't a life worth living. Natalia, wait. I have to. He's bluffing. I'm not. So be a good girl and put that... Told you he was bluffing. You two scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I'm just happy to be free. So, are we gonna address the elephant in the room? Are you referring to my kill count? Oh, that's right. He knows your number. Okay, come on. Tell me. Look, I don't want to say it, okay? Listen, I killed my soulmate for no reason. The only joy I will get is knowing your kill count. Uh... Do you really want to deprive me of that joy? Fine, it's... <sighs> 269. I couldn't hear you. Oh, come on, just say it. It's 269, okay? Oh, no. You need to change that number right now. Go go kill a rat or something. I'm not gonna go kill a rat. That's not even how the body count works. Excuse me. I'm looking for a girl. You, come with me. No, thanks. I wasn't asking, sweetheart. Hey. Okay, not gonna lie, that was kind of hot. I got you, babe. There's more of them coming. Looks like I'm changing that number. It's done. This guy better be paying me double. Or, I can handle that. So, did you get your soulmate's number yet? Yeah, I did. It's four. How about yours? Oh, wow. Mine's 60. Oh, I'm so sorry. Eh, I mean, my number's more than that. I got this guy. You take that one. Copy that. Nice one. What the hell? Guess what? What? My soulmate's number just got bumped up to seven. So? So? That means that he was having, you know, a threesome? It's not that kind of body count. It's not? Then what does the number represent? It's our soulmate's kill count. So that means that he could see every time I... Yep. Oh, this is not good. You're overreacting. Do you know what my kill count is? No, because you won't tell me. Exactly, because it's really bad. Oh, please. Is it more than mine? Mm-hmm. Well, it's not like this guy is a saint. I know, but seven compared to my number is like nothing. <sighs> Hang on. It's the boss. So, what do you say? He wants us to take out our soulmates. Like, take them out on a date? Or like... <sighs> Eliminate them. Obviously the second one. You know we can't have attachments. Well, I'm not gonna do that, are you? Natalia, you know what our boss will do if we don't. I really don't want to kill him. Oh, thank God. Not you, you idiot. Natalia, we don't have a choice. Hey, can you hear me? I'm getting a lot of static on my... Let me see your hands. This is for killing all my men. Share the same hair or share the same clothes as my soulmate. I didn't spend two years growing this hair out for it to get ruined. We'll share clothes. Let's hope this prince soulmate of mine has some style. Soulmate's clothes on. A prince would never wear this? Is my soulmate some sort of a lumberjack? Or worse, what if he's a peasant? What are you wearing? I hate to inform you of this, mother, but these are my soulmate's clothes. Is your soulmate a peasant? Possibly. Absolutely not. You are forbidden to meet this boy. Yes, mother. I need to go out. I can't be seen in this. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove his outfit. Great. Mother said never to go anywhere without my crown, but today, I can't let anyone know I'm a princess. I really hope I don't get recognized. Oh, shit, I'm so sorry. I swear, I didn't mean to- You have the same outfit as- Me. You're wearing my same clothes, so we must Shh, be- smooth. Someone could hear you. I can't have people knowing my soulmate is a peasant. Who do you think you are? Look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Really look at me? Uh, okay. Ow! I am the princess, you idiot. Wait, you are? Yes, and I have a ball to go to tonight, and I am stuck in your dumb clothes. I need you to do me a favor. Okay, I'm back, and I need you to wear this. You want me to wear a dress? 
That's not happening. But you have to. I can only wear what you wear. Please. It's not my fault you picked. Hey, come on, don't cry. <sighs> All right, fine, princess. I'll do it. Okay, thank you. Soulmates clothes changing. Peasant, it worked. My name is Nick and I can't zip this up. <laughs> Has anyone seen my daughter? My mom's coming. My mom's coming. Go hide in that alleyway. Oh. Hello, mother. I've been looking for you. How are you wearing that dress? What are you talking about? You can only wear what your soulmate wears? Did you disobey me and speak to him? Mother, I would never directly disobey you. The system just had a glitch, and now it looks like I don't have to wear my soulmate's clothes anymore. Okay, then you better be at the ball tonight, and stand up straight. Of course, mother. She seems nice. Yeah, she's, uh, she's something. Listen, princess, I can barely breathe in this dress. I just need 30 minutes to make an appearance, then I'll tell my mom that I feel sick and I'll be out of there. There's a lot of princes at the ball. I can see that. Since you're forbidden to talk to your soulmate, why don't you talk to one of them, honey? Just because you and dad didn't work out doesn't mean that me and my soulmate won't. Excuse me? Go to your room. Fine. Perfect timing, actually. What was that? Nothing. I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes come- I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes coming off. Dress. Psst, Nick, you can take this off now, and quickly, because there is a giant hole in the back. Okay, but you realize it's night now. Yeah, and? And I like to sleep shirtless. Okay, well, you can't do that, because that means I would have to sleep without a shirt. <laughs> well, I made a sacrifice for you today, so maybe- Oh! You know what? Just for that comment, you are going to be wearing this robe tonight. Are you serious? Yeah, go change. Hey! <sighs> the things I do for you. Soulmate changing clothes. Much better. How long am I going to have to keep wearing your clothes? I don't know. As soon as this soulmate thing wears off, I guess. Well then, there's something about me you need to know, princess. There's something about me you need to know. Wait, before you tell me, I just want to say, I really appreciate you wearing my clothes for me, and I don't care if you're a commoner. I... I want to be with you. Princess, the queen has been looking for you. I was just- Enough! You're coming with us! Good morning. Mother, about last night- Don't worry about it, honey. I've taken care of everything. You no longer need to wear your soulmate's clothes. Look. What did you do? Well, since the king is in charge of the system, I made a deal with him for you to marry his son. Well, that's ridiculous, and I'm not agreeing to that. Honey, the deal has already been made. The prince is on his way. What? It had to be done. No. Yes, you certainly won't be marrying your peasant soulmate. I present to you your fiancé. Hello, princess. But I... Thought that I was a peasant? I only dress like that because I don't like to get recognized. I'm sorry. It's all right. I wanted to tell you, but I'm glad to see that you love me for me. And I love you.
to do they think Pump it Louder, come on Don't, don't stop. stop And keep me going Do, do it. it Let's get it on Move, Move it. it Come on, baby, do it Let that ding that that dick die On the story let the streets just blow your mind. Blow my mind, baby. Just let it go, let it go. Here we go. Let that kick that that it Come on, oh, yeah. Ready, 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 ready. Oh, ready, ready, ready. Oh, some gum and feel so fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fine, you. Louder. Pump it louder. Pump it louder. Pump it louder. Pump it louder. Inside, oh, 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 let the speakers blow your mind. Blow my mind, baby. Just let it go, let it go. Here we go. Let that kick that that this time. Come on, oh, yeah. Ready, 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 ready. Oh, this is ready, ready, ready. Some gum that feels so fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pump it louder. 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 Okay, what's my superpower? What is this? It's your birthday. What special power did you get? I don't know. There's just a bunch of colors over my head. Colors? Yeah, there's blue. What happened? Nothing. You just have blue lines on your face now. Oh. I selected it. It's so funny. She doesn't even get a real power. Hey! Why would you say that? What? I never said anything. That was so weird. Hey, happy birthday! Hey, my dude, Jim! She'll never know how madly in love with her I am. You're in love with me? What? How did you know that? 